how do we play these underneath triplets softly and this top line more firmly? Well, the first thing I would do is to imagine two different dynamic markings. I would, in my imagination, think of this underneath triplet pattern as being pianissimo. And in the top, let's imagine a mezzo piano for the moment. I know it does say PP, but in our imagination, we're going to do a mezzo piano just to make sure we can really play this G sharp more firmly than that G sharp. Now, let me give you a couple of ideas for voicing first before we look at how we're going to manage it technically. And actually, voicing is technique, so these two um, marry together nicely in the end, you'll see. So I'm going to first of all play my top G sharp in the, with the level of sound that I want, and then somewhat later, I'm going to play that thumb. It doesn't even matter if it's silent. You see, then I put the key down silently, or super soft. Then I aim to get those two events closer together. So instead of and then that, I'm going to aim to get it now even closer until I can play together. Aha! Did you hear there? I've got two levels of sound. Now another very good thing to do for practice is to take use two hands so you can create exactly the sound very easily. So I'm going to play my right hand firmly and my left hand super softly. easy to manage, much easier to manage anyway in, in two hands than it is in one hand. And what you've done by practicing like that, you've created the ideal oral image. In other words, you've created the sound uh, using two hands, but you're going to need to ask the one hand to achieve.